This is going to be a very interesting triple P because I never thought I would do one on a topic that I'm talking about right now. And I have to give a shout out to Professor Black Truth because he's the first person I saw actually post about this story. And this is like the ultimate switcheroo. So in this picture, you see two people on the right. You see a man by the name of Vincent Chung and the left. You see a picture of a man by the name of Terrell Harper. So basically what you have is you had Vincent Chung, who was a detective for the NYPD, who filed hate crime charges against Terrell Harper, citing that Terrell Harper has said some anti-Asian slurs or, you know, epithets towards, uh, towards him. In which, if you saw the video, and I'm going to leave the link to the video down below, they said he went on like a 10 minute rant against him. And he basically, like I said, he filed hate crime charges. But guess what ended up happening? Now, this is what makes this Triple P even more interesting. And this is actually what made it a Triple P. The judge over the case involving this ended up tossing out the lawsuit that he filed against Terrell Harper. And the reason is because the judge declared it to be free speech. He's basically saying that this lawsuit is a violation of Terrell Harper's free speech. This is one of the first times I have ever seen a black man actually catch a dub over an Asian individual under their own hate crime bill law, however you want to put it. This is one of the first times that the anti-Asian hate crime bill actually took an L against the same people that they kept trying to propagandize that we were the ones doing all the hate crimes and mo or most of them, at least against them. And another thing, too, is when I look at this guy, he looks like he reminds me of Peter Liang. From now on, it's almost like if I see any type of Asian cop, especially if they work for the NYPD, I'm going to immediately think of Peter Liang and how all those Asians came out and supported him because of what he did to Akai Gurley to get him off. That will never, ever, ever leave my mind. So that's what makes this even more better. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and read this article that was posted February 28, 2022. A Manhattan judge on Monday tossed a lawsuit brought by an Asian NYP detective against a man who spewed racist slurs at him, saying while the tirade was obscene, it counts as constitutionally protected free speech. Detective Vincent Chung brought the complaint then believed to be the first of its kind against Terrell Harper, who was caught in a 10 minute video calling Chung a goddamn can eater and excuse me and asking if he was going to judo chop him. The video speaks volumes. Manhattan Supreme Court Justice Shalomo Hagler said during a virtual hearing Monday of the March 11, 2021 incident. The obscenities, the diatribes, the hateful and obscene words were said. There is no doubt to that. Now, before I go any further, look at the date, March 11, 2021. So we're talking almost a year ago, which was right around the time they implemented that anti-Asian hate crime bill. It was in this month last year that they implemented it and it was also around that same time when they kept trying to pump out this propaganda that it was mainly black people that was verbally and physically attacking them and then come full circle almost a year later and this is what happens such conduct should be condemned and has no place in civil society Hagler continued but in dismissing Chung's suit the jurors acknowledged that the US Supreme Court has held that even hate speech is free speech protected under the First Amendment. So even they acknowledged that what this Terrell Harper said was indeed hate speech, but they said we can't do nothing with it because constitutionally it's under the First Amendment. Courts have upheld that the law, the First Amendment, is sacrosanct and that the ability to protest is something that the legislature wishes to encourage rather than having the right to free speech curtailed. Hagler said he believes that lawmakers should make a carve out in the First Amendment to bar hate speech and encourage Chung, a 16 year NYPD veteran and his lawyers to take the issue up with the legislature. I do believe the legislation should go back and review whether they should protect racist and hateful speech as part of the civil rights law, the judge said. Earlier in the hearing, Harper's attorney, I'm sorry, yeah, Remy Green, acknowledged that Harper used some extraordinary offensive language. Hate speech is free speech, Green added later. 
the Supreme Court has said it over and over again. This is and this is the attorney for the black guy. They're basically using their tactics on them because that's the same thing they would do if it was on us. It's just that it is very rare if it has ever happened because I've never seen it happen where this has actually worked to the benefit of the black individual in this case. Usually it would never work. Because, you know, they always try to get us on a uh, hate speech or whatever they can to get on us. But this is one of those rare occasions where this is occurring. And it doesn't matter if it's not coming from a PC individual or anyone else. But the fact that it's happening with an Asian man, while they're seemingly protected under that anti-Asian hate crime bill, makes this even more, as the true royal family would say, juicy. Maybe it's time to revisit some of that president at a time of unprecedented hate crimes against the Asian community following the pandemic. Marcella said hate begets hate. Hate speech spawns violence. It's in it's incontrovertible. After the hearing, Marcella told the post that he is disappointed and will likely file an appeal. We're going to need to take some time to digest the court's decision, but in all likelihood, we will be appealing. We are disappointed and we respectfully disagree with the court's decision. Harper made headlines again last month when he allegedly posted a video on his Instagram story before a second slain officer's funeral saying, I'm looking for the next cop's funeral. I'm going to F it up, bro. The story appeared to feature a photo of officers lined up outside of the funeral for, funeral for Detective Jason Rivera and was posted just days before services of Officer Wilbur Mora took place. The pair of officers were shot during a domestic violence call in the Bronx on January 21st and died days later. This guy's a rebel. And I'm talking about this guy right here. But yeah, this guy right here, you can tell he is sick. And I'm sure that the people in the Asian community are probably pissed the hell off because they felt that that bill was supposed to protect them all the way through and through. But they found out that day what well, he did specifically, but they did as a collective that you're just the model minority. That does not mean you are PC. That's all that is. Your privilege, if you want to call it that, only extends but so far. Really, all that's really all it does. And on this day, on, on that day, last year, you found out what the real was. That was a wake up call for you and the entire Asia community as a whole. But that's not, you know, this is only a drop in the bucket for them. I mean, they're probably going to bounce back from this. And it is what it is. I do not feel bad for this guy at all. Like I said, looking at him reminds me too much of Peter Liang. And we all know over here we have a huge disdain towards that character for what he did to Akai Gurley a few years ago. Just able to walk out of there unscathed. Which, by the way, they said this guy's a 16-year veteran, which means he was on the force when Peter Liang did what he did. I wonder if he knew him. And I wonder if he agreed with the decision to let him walk from letting a black after a black man was murdered by his weapon makes you wonder things that make you go hmm well it is what it is i feel nothing and i'm sure y'all don't as well and life continues to go on and the world continues to spin y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments like share subscribe if you are new make sure you go ahead and hit that bell to be notified every time i upload a new video or go live <laughs>